Hello everybody, welcome to Mad Over MATLAB tutorials. This is Tanmay and this is the second part of a series of tutorials on MATLAB basics. So we will start this tutorial by learning how to manage variables in MATLAB. So before moving forward, let us learn the meanings of some basic terms that you need to know. Data type. It is a particular kind of data item which is defined by the values it can take, the programming language used or the operations that can be performed on it. Bit. A bit is the smallest unit of a data in a computer. A bit has a single binary value, either 0 or 1. Byte. Byte is a sequence of adjacent bits operated on as a unit by a computer. A byte usually consists of 8 bits. Character. A character is a unit of information that roughly corresponds to an alphabet in the written form of a natural language. Float Float is a data type used to define a variable with a fractional value. Numbers created using a float variable declaration will have digits on both sides of a decimal point. Float variables are 4 bytes or 32 bits in size. Double. A double is a larger float type that holds both bigger and more precise numbers. Double variables are 8 bytes or 64 bits in size. Symbolic objects. This is a special data type in MATLAB. Declaring variables as symbolic objects enables user to perform different operations on them such as integration, differentiation, simplification, equation solving and other mathematical tasks with the help of inbuilt functions. First I will start with symbolic objects. Now I will perform a small operation on these two objects. Next, I will create a variable by giving it an integer value. After this, I will create another variable and give it a float value, which is a fractional value. Okay. So, if you see here, this is your workspace. You just need to click on this to activate it. And you can see here that whatever variables that we created in the command window have appeared here. The first variable is ANS. This is the answer of this operation X plus Y. The class of this variable answer is symbolic. Since we created the variables X and Y as symbols and operated on these two the answer that we got after this operation was stored in the variable answer or ans that's why it has the same class which was there for x and y after this we will go to variable u the variable u has a value of 5 and its class is double so even if i had given it an integer value the data type of this variable was selected as double implicitly which means that by default whichever value you give to your variable it will be stored as a double class. Next we will move to variable v. It has a value of 4.56 which is stored as double and finally we have these variables x and y which we had created as symbols. So as you can see here, this table gives information about different aspects of this variable. For example, the value, its size, number of bytes that it has consumed and the class. So if you want to get some more information about these variables, you have to click this icon and go to choose columns so these these are the list of columns that you can get 
if I click any one of these it will appear here see if I don't want to see it I can just uncheck this now we will see how to manage these variables we will see this variable u if you want to see what this variable contains you have to double click on this and as you can see here you are getting this variable in tabular form the order of this variable is mentioned here which means that it it has only one element so if you want to add more elements to this variable you can just click any of these cells and put the value there so now the order of this variable has changed to 1 cross 2 so you want to remove any of these variables or any of these rows or columns just select it and right click and delete the column so the order has changed back to 1 cross 1 after this right click on this variable you can find many options here you can save this variable by clicking save as and the variable will be saved as a dot mat file and this file can be used in other programs or if you want to use this variable in future after this you can copy this variable and paste it you have got a copy of this variable here duplicate means the same it will create a copy of that variable you can delete it you can rename the variable so now if you enter u1 here you will get the value as 5 next you can edit the value same if you enter u1 here you will get the new value of u1 and in the end you can also plot this variable so that's it for this tutorial in the next part we will see how to solve equations in MATLAB till then goodbye and take care